Okay, so we're live. Uh, thank you guys for joining us uh, to our, our first social media uh, support uh, in support of the 20 year anniversary implementation of the Brady Law. Uh, two of our tireless, we're joined by two of our tireless advocates to expand Brady background checks. Um, what uh, we'll be doing is uh, answering uh, questions uh, from uh, our Facebook and uh, Twitter followers on uh, how they can get involved uh, with the Brady Campaign and Center to um, call on Congress to expand Brady background checks. So uh, first off, I want to introduce myself. My name is Juan Altamirano. I'm with the Brady Campaign and Center. I am the campaign manager for the uh, for victims and survivors and impacted communities. And today we have here uh, Alex Thessaly um, yes. and, uh, uh, and Sherilyn Birdsong. So we'll go right into, uh, into this uh, town hall. Um, Alex, can you uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, uh, my name is uh, Alex Vasuri and uh, I'm here because a uh, few years ago uh, my sister got gone down uh, near Chicago, and uh, the, the gun was purchased uh, through a web page just by a click of a button. There was no background check or anything like that. And uh, uh, basically, uh, it's, it's very hard to imagine that somebody would just go, and, you know, anybody would go and buy a gun on a computer, you get a gun, no problem. Uh, and since this thing happened to me, I uh, I would like to uh, do something about it so I could, you know, prevent uh, a lot of tragedies that happened to me and to my family. You know, that's basically why I'm here. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Sherilyn? Good afternoon, everyone. I am here because almost 15 years ago, my husband was walking in our quiet suburban neighborhood, also a uh, sub suburb of Chicago, and he was outside with two of my youngest children who were 8 and 10 at the time, and um, a, a person who had purchased a gun illegally through the classified ads he drove down the street and sprayed bullets at my husband and my two children and fortunately my two children were not injured but unfortunately and tragically my husband was shot and killed and I believe that the person would not have been able to get a gun if the loophole in the Brady law was closed and so I'm here to um, just continue to put pressure on Congress and to help to motivate uh, you all out there to put pressure on our lawmakers to finish the job and close the loopholes in the Brady Bill. And I just want to say one thing that has been very um, uh, meaningful to me. There's a quote by um, uh, I, I guess he was an English lawmaker back in Great Britain in the 1700s and his name is Edmund Burke and he said that the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing and so um, it's very important that just regular ordinary common people um, who think that something like this may not even touch them, but um, it's just important for everyday people to get involved and to do something to help to save lives. Thank you, Sherilyn. Um, so uh, just to recap, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, thank you for joining us uh, in our live tele uh, conference, I should say town hall. Uh, virtual town hall uh, for our 20th year anniversary uh, implementation for the Brady, uh, Brady background bill. 
Um, if you would like to send us questions, uh, please log on to Facebook or Twitter. Send us your questions at, at Brady Buzz on Twitter or like us on Facebook and post uh, on our Facebook wall uh, using the hashtag on either Facebook or Twitter. Uh, finish the job uh, to submit questions. Uh, but uh, in, in the meantime, uh, let me uh, start off by asking you guys uh, a few questions of, uh, of our own and uh, pull this up here. Uh, Sharon, uh, this this question is is for you. Uh, what's one thing that you've learned uh, from working in this movement uh, that you would like to share with someone or viewers here uh, about uh, how they can get involved and why do you think this is important? Well, it's important because it can happen to anyone, no matter where you live, who you are you can be affected by gun violence and it happens all too often in America and so it's important to get involved because just the value of, of human lives, I mean it can save lives, it can save your life, it can save someone that you love life and um, it's just important to raise your voice and to be heard and to call your congressman to let them know that this is an issue that, that matters. So uh, you, you brought up the, the point of calling on Congress. How Can you give out uh, a number that, that Absolutely. people can uh, use? Absolutely. It's just as simple as calling one 920 8078 and the person on the other end will all they need is your address and they can tell you who your member of Congress is and you will be switched over to that office and just encourage them to finish the job and to close the loopholes in the Brady background checks law and um, if by chance your congressman supports um, Brady background checks and um, closing the loopholes and just give them your support and, and tell them that you appreciate the work that they're doing. So um, they need to hear us. Our voice matters. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Alex, uh, this, is, this question is, is for you. How can we make the most impact in the shortest amount of time? I think uh, the, the sooner the law gets pushed through for a thorough background check would be one thing for sure. And uh, you know, just limit those loopholes where people just buy a gun, you know, easily. Yeah. I mean, you know. If you're a criminal or if you're a mental patient or anybody who shouldn't have a gun, you, know, you shouldn't be able to buy a gun. And uh, it's, so far, it's not the case. I think that you know, going this direction would be the one thing that will speed it up. You know? yeah. Close those loopholes. Yes, uh, yeah. We're closing the loopholes is certainly uh, something that. Uh, we're trying to do uh, calling on Congress to finish the job, uh, and, and folks who are viewing us, uh, this is an important issue that uh, not only touches on uh, on uh, you know, people like you, but uh, every pe every person within our community. Uh, and so, uh, calling on Congress uh, is certainly uh, something uh, that uh, we can uh, gather support around and. and call for change. Uh, Sherilyn, um, what can we do uh, to get Congress's attention about this? Um, you know, 
what do you think the uh, why do you think it's important for people to call and, and, and organize within their community? Well, they are elected officials and they need to represent us, our views and what we think is important for um, to live safely in this country. And so since they supposedly represent us, then they need to hear what's important to us. And we can't just assume that they know. Um, and a lot of things, I mean, what has surprised me is that what to me makes common sense, makes good sense, that um, is in line with public safety is something that for whatever reason is not being um, properly handled in our government um, to, to make sure that people are safe and that you know we do have effective gun laws. So they need to hear from us and understand what's important to us. And, and can you give us some tips on uh, on, on calling your elected officials? Well, one thing that I've learned from coming to Washington and going over to the um, offices is don't be disappointed, don't be surprised if you don't get a chance to actually speak to your elected official, but their staff people are there to take your concerns and to communicate your concerns to them. So that is fine if you talk to one of their officials, one of their staff members, just express your concern and um, they will, that's a part of their job is to communi communicate your concerns to the elected official. And just be sure to tell them what district or in state that you are from and be specific and um, just very, just short and concise about what you want them to do, the reason why you're calling, which is you want them to close the loophole and to finish the job with the braided background checks. Thank you. And, uh, and for, for those people that are ready and willing to go uh, and, and take this action, people can go to uh, Brady, the Brady Campaign uh, website. Uh, that website is BradyCampaign.org. Uh, what you'll be able to find on that website is a toolkit on uh, finishing the job and how, the ways in which you can get involved in your community and calling on Congress to uh, to pass Brady background checks. Um, Alex, um, this is uh, something that uh, I think uh, is very important. Um, where do you hope uh, to see this movement, uh, this gun violence prevention movement, uh, in the next uh, year or in the next five years? I'd like to see it uh, going forward, uh, you know, stricter gun laws and uh, uh, you know, the background check and basically preventing a lot of crimes, preventing a lot of tragedies by, you know, doing this and getting the, you know, elected officials to act up on it and do something about it, you know, get the job done, finish the job. Okay. Can I add something? I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic that five years from now it will be impossible for someone with a criminal record, a mentally ill person, um, those just dangerous people who have no business having a gun, which is the reason behind so many of the tragedies that we have. Um, I, 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 I'm hoping that it will be impossible for someone like that to get a gun. That they, it just, just won't not going to happen in the United States. Uh, I we have uh, we received a, a, a question uh, from one of our uh, members uh, from Twitter. Uh, 
and the question is, how can we get our politicians to get bolder about speaking about gun violence prevention and talking about victims' rights? I think we have to build a grassroots coalition of just common everyday people just raising their voices, calling that number, just letting them know that we, we're not going to just stand by silently and let this continue. We, 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 we expect, we're demanding that you, know, you do the right things because this is what can save lives. It's been proven. The facts are in. The toolkit tells us that the facts are in that Brady checks save lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll ask one more question and uh, we'll wrap up uh, just uh, thanking our audience uh, about uh, joining us today. But uh, what would you? both tell people uh, who are viewing us and those that uh, want to get involved, what's the w number one reason why they should get involved on th in this issue? Well, we do have the Brady Center here in D.C. who day in and day out, the staff here is passionately working on this issue. And one thing you can do is to donate donate money to this um, organization so that they can continue to do the very important work that they're doing. And in addition to that, like we've been saying from the beginning, make your voice heard to our elected officials. Those are two very, very important things that you can do to um, help to solve this problem and make our streets safer. Alex? I pretty much agree with that and, you know, uh, participate and donate and, you know, be active because uh, uh, it does happen, you know, uh, you know, there are a lot of fortunate people that didn't happen to them, but uh, when it does, it's, it's a terrible thing and uh, uh, that's kind of the reason I got involved because it happened to my family and uh, I think it's very important to, you know, stop it or slow it down, slow down these illegal gun sales and uh, just prevent a lot of tragedies. It's very important. Yeah. It happen to anybody and uh, it shouldn't happen to anybody. It should, it should be a lot safer place. Yeah. That's one thing that Alex and I were talking about, how you never think it can happen to you. Yes. But it can happen to anybody anywhere. And so this is a this is a, 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 a social problem and unfortunately it's it's an epidemic and it's a crisis and you shouldn't wait until you are touched by something like this. The time is now to get involved. And, and with that, uh, can you remind our, our viewers uh, on the phone number where uh, they can call to uh, make that uh, change happen? 1-888-920-8078. And the message is, finish the job. We want uh, to call on Congress uh, today, uh, going on forward to uh, finish the job and uh, expand Brady background checks on all gun sales. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, it's, it's been a good, very good discussion. Thank you all for joining us uh, in our first uh, ever uh, virtual town hall uh, with uh, our two tireless advocates uh, to expand Brady background checks. Uh, we're delighted to have you here and uh, thank you for joining us.